After that record-setting game one, the Indiana Fever and Phoenix Mercury had a tough act to follow here in Phoenix for game two on Thursday night. And while it wasn't another triple-digit score fest, it was still another back-and-forth barn burner, except this time with a different outcome. The Indiana Fever able to turn up the heat late and even the series at one game apiece. And as you would imagine, they're feeling pretty good. Those indie fans are ruthless, so, you know, I can't wait to go back and hear what they got to say and some of the things they got to do. So I'm just excited to go back home, get in my own bed, and, you know, and, and be in our own arena in some familiar places. We're not breathing a sigh of relief. We knew we could do this. We, I told you last time we were trying to steal this game, and we stole it. Now we're going to go back home in front of our friends and, and, and try to uh, get another game. You know what I mean? Every, it's one game at a time right now. You know, they're going to play hard regardless. And it doesn't matter what floor you're on, you just got to go out there and try to win. The Fever relied heavily upon all-star Tamika Catchings, who fell one rebound shy of the first triple-double in WNBA Finals history. Um, I think game one, you know, definitely not playing my game. The foul, being in foul trouble really kind of played around with me a little bit as far as not being as aggressive as I could have been. But, you know, definitely for me, just coming out, being aggressive, taking the ball straight to the basket. Defensively, you know, trying to be all up on Diana as early as I could to, you know, kind of just be there. And, uh, you know, definitely a great start for our team. All tied at one game apiece, headed to Indiana. The Phoenix Mercury are ready for the challenge. Yeah, I mean, Indiana is not an easy place to play at. Um, the building's going to be sold out. They're going to be energized. They're going to want to close it out at home. And uh, we'll see what kind of team we are. They, they definitely um, played at a very you know, high level defensively. They, they challenged a lot of shots, and we settled for a lot of shots t tonight, too. So, you know, it was a, a little bit of both, but they did a great job. I think um, we finished the game with the momentum on our side, you know, which is a positive thing going into game three. Um, you know, we can't let a, a loss affect um, the way that we come in in game three. You know, we just got to be positive and just keep fighting. You know, we're going to be aggressive, we're going to be um, energetic, and we're going to be positive about everything for 40 minutes. Game three at Conseco Fieldhouse, Sunday, 4 o'clock Eastern. Covering the WNBA Finals in Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Kyle McGovern.